tired of hearing nice guys are boring. Whatever happened to being loved and cherished? It used to be a time that fairy tales were true. The king and the queen and all the pills were blue. But then the pill changed, the red pills the truth. Forget the married life, I got better things to do. Stack money, travel to work when you're getting it like that. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notifications button. And go in the comments and let me know exactly what you think about this video. Next, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my second channel, Life with Anthony Spade, you can go to my homepage and you can also get the music to the intro at my homepage. All right. So I'm going to be reacting to two videos. All right. The first video is going to be a grandmother putting her granddaughter on blast. All right. And the second video is going to be a woman complaining about why she can't get a man because she was in the streets. But a man reacts to it. No further ado, let's get to it. All right. She says, the streets welcome me back after another failed relationship. At this point, comments on videos like this just make me want to ask, do heterosexual men even like women anymore? The question is not about if we even like any women anymore. The real question is, is why do you women sit here and say that you want good men, get a good man, dump them, go after a toxic guy, get done dirty, get hurt, go back to the streets, say aren't shit, and then you can't find a good man. That's the real question. Take accountability and let's see what answers you and other women have for that. I'm tired of hearing nice guys are boring. Whatever happened to being loved? Your Absolutely right. I came home for that. Because believe it or not, I was one of those a whole dudes. I didn't care about women. Women loved me. And it's still like that to this day. Women love me for being the asshole. And, I, and I've used to dog girls out. And a lot of those girls had friends and they had eyes. And I used to tell them like, hey, why don't you just go home to your man? But women need that excitement. Why do women need that excitement? Because we're all natural mammals. We're all natural animals. See, in the animal kingdom, it's the same way. The most masculine male always gets the woman. Look at lions. All right. A lion can have seven women in his pride. If another male comes along and he's more dominant than the male they're with, those lioness automatically disconnect their emotions and prepare for their king to get his ass whooped by a more powerful lion. And then when that more powerful lion takes over pride, he kills off the kids and fucks all the women and starts his own bloodline all over again. It's just in today's world, a lot of you guys, you're, a lot of the lions are not with the women because the women have jumped from alpha male to alpha male to alpha male. Trying to figure out. Oh. But wait, let me say something. Wait, 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 hold on. Because everybody's talking about me being someone they for 200. Not only got 2,000 from doing a scene. They know you 18? No, I'm 19, but they know I'm oh, 19. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot to see. Somebody in the comments. Don't you guys, don't you guys think that it's a shame that institution getting paid to degrade yourself to a woman has actually became a job? When I was coming up, if the woman had slept around or even she was technically pregnant in her teens, like she was ashamed to be seen. She was ashamed to walk around. You know, if a woman was loose, no other girl wanted to hang around her so ever. But nowadays, women don't care about being liberated. They don't care about being to the point where institution is starting to become a day-to-day -day thing. And another thing I want you guys to see is the guys. Uh, you guys aid on to women being worse than what they are because they have no attraction to them. All right. You have to understand. You guys have given the women power. They've actually pushed everything. The me too's to help better. Those. This is how LG took over. They won, but the women ultimately lose because they were used as vessels. Women are only going to get worse and become more lonelier. And the ones that can't think with their brain or transition over into being a feminist to go get their own money would be doing things like this. It's actually why I look uncomfortable. The only reason why I look uncomfortable is because I'm mad small or big. They would smack yeah, me. Like, they they would and like, I was, I was scared. I wasn't they scared, would you but like, I was like, damn, like, you don't got to smack me like that because, you know, like, 
If it was just some brother, nigga, I was not letting no nigga do that, but these are professor, you know. Oh, my God, my question. Did they force you to do that? She said no. Nah, they didn't. Nah, they didn't. She said they mad. When guys are paying you to perform duties, there is no respect. There is no we're cool. There's trying to keep from getting hit with charges because their ultimate goal is to degrade you. And if you guys ever see ghetto, there's nothing positive that they say about them girls. They tell them girls, your mom and grandma is going to see this. What are they going to think about you? They actually let you know that you look like an idiot before you do it or why you're saying what you're saying. It's the same thing as DJ Vlad. Vlad sits on there and says, did you ever feel any remorse for killing people? You ever feel any remorse for being a drug dealer? You ever feel any remorse for talking about violence in your songs? You ever feel any remorse for this? And these guys sit up there and just continue to go along with the gangster stuff. But Vlad sits there and says, like, look, don't you think this is a, a bad condition? But people say, oh, Vlad, you're the snitch. Why? You're not even realizing what you're doing wrong. Cool. Well, they are not cool to me. Like, first of all, they got me a whole Uber from where I live. Away from out there. They was paying for my Uber there and back from the studio and all of that. Okay, they are uh, cool. Was that milk or was that the real stuff? That was, that was like a nutriment oh, drink. It was a nutriment drink. Damn! Oh, oh, I told y'all. Look at this. Look at this. It's a, it's, it's a nutriment drink that they put on her face, right? But it's still her face. You have to walk around like this. You have to walk around being seen. Regardless, people think that- Oh, hell no. Hell no. Girl, I thought that a whole robot session. Hell no. That was, that was a nutriment drink. They give you the words. They give you the words. They told you for a time out when you- They give you- Yes, because they, they give you cold like words. Yeah, so they give you cold words. Basically, all right, because um, he told me about one of the girls that came there before me. He was uh -huh. like how, I guess it was too much for her, so she couldn't do it no more. So she just oh. said timed out. That ended the whole mm -hmm. shit. She didn't get paid. She just mm -hmm. went home and left. But I'm a champ. Mm -hmm. I'm Roro. You Roro for And I got that back. So you Roro for Like this towards regular guys, not even porn guys that are out here doing this. This is how women are actually are. This is their mindset. Not all women, but women that are in the game. Women have two options now. You're either a feminist or you're a full-blown slut. The difference is the feminist is willing to actually work for her money. So as much as women cannot parabond with a man, they still can defend for themselves and work. These type of women over here are like fake feminists. The girls that do all the, the porn and stuff like her, these are fake feminists. These are women like, oh, I'm going to go out there and do it on my own. I don't need a man, but I'm going to use a man's money. I'm going to use a man's sexual desires in order to get ahead. And that's the part that makes everything bad and wrong where you can actually see the mental disease. Period. Oh, they said, oh, I was the only black girl. I was my white girl. It is white females on it, but you gotta really look. I don't. And I want black moms to look at what you've done to your sons. That's a man. That's a man. This is. We have more black men that are like this than like me. This is what the black community is filled with guys like this and women like her. That's what it's filled with. That's not a small percentage. That's not the majority, but it's enough to be classified as a psychological disease for the culture. This is what it's becoming. I don't know, like, it's called ghetto gaggers for a reason. Ghetto gaggers, <laughs> yeah, sure. It's called ghetto gaggers. Yo, you... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Anthony is retarded, bro. Man, really cool ghetto Somebody took about stop gaffing. Ain't nobody not gassing me, because I... Before this fucking porn... I feel bad, because he has the same name as me. I was been lit, been famous. So I don't even care about this. This is just something that's new. This shit is annoying, bro. Like, I have a life of my own. I have to provide for myself. I, my don't, my mother and my father do not pay for my shit no more. I buy my own shit. Oh, okay. Listen to how she justifies being a slut. My mom and dad pay for everything.